around November of last year, I got all the way to here. And my efforts to cover the Bay Circuit Trail on the northern side of Andover. This is the Deer Jump Reservation, which runs along the Merrimack River, and I've already been exploring it for quite a while. There's another trail I came in on. But this is where you end up with, and after you leave the Harold Rafton Davis Reservation, and you find a street, the name of which escapes me, but it would be this street, one of those little residential cul-de-sacs. It's in the Holy Writ, don't worry. I hear they're planning to maybe find a different routing, but it looks like all is right with the world for now. So I'll follow this probably all the way to Tewksbury. The border where there's a pumping station. It marks the end of the line. <coughs> We're on the edge of another Harold Rafton property. This one belongs to the end of the Conservation Commission. Harold was evidently another stellar public space advocate in his day. There are bow hunters out, or one anyway. The season began on the 21st. Naturally, they're chanting a bit at their chance to cull the somewhat oversized herd that's causing havoc all over the Commonwealth with its peculiar partnership with the deer tick. most striking element of this property on the tall terrace shoulders that run the edge of the Merrimack River, not far from where it joins the sea. been here three times and it's just a totally charming place. My prior attempts to videotape it Scott bad planning late in the day and so forth. So it's nice to finally this particularly wonderful end of the property. Take the documentation. And see so you arrive at the river and a turn is indicated. Over this way you can explore and find the pump 
shopping station. That's sort of where I came from. You can take a bus out here and then it's a bit of a walk, but well worth it. There's also a parking lot that I used to use. So there's plenty of deer jump to explore over that way. It's the part I know the best. And here we are at the edge of this terrace that was carved by glaciation pushing down through what became the Merrimack River Valley. <coughs> at this point, it's almost in two tiers. What it does with us up here. Soon heading down closer to the water's edge. That's always nice. The river creates a big basin and amphitheater. Full of the perpetual roar of motors, of course, it being a Monday and all. I haven't been down at this part. away from somewhere. Jeez. Maybe something spanning a vernal swale. Oh, there's a confidence place. Now, what do we got up here? Yeah, I see we scared off to one side. Probably a stability problem. Banks caving in. <laughs> we are a little too close to the river for comfort. <laughs> Look at that. Trail conservation project, please go around. Gotcha. <laughs> Letting this thing have a rest. It's kind of a little narrow strip for ways. Close to home. Such. That's probably a good thing, though. Because this is an area that we probably won't run into bow hunters.
not really close to the water on this section. This is great. That way eventually goes to Newberry in the time honored this way, that way tradition. And this way, after a long haul, will eventually get us to Bay Farm and Duxbury. 